Yo, what is good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another GTA 5 online video. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to actually give your MOC and AA trailer to your friend. Okay, you're duping it for your friend, which means you actually have to own previous, you know, vehicles. Okay, so you need an AA trailer and you need an MOC to be able to get dupes from your friend. All right. Now, shout out to the founders. We got Lost Glitches who found this awesome merge, you know, for the bunkers to be able to get this going. Uh, big shout out also to GTA Boss, Mod Beep, everybody who was included in the gift cards to friends because it has to do with the beginning of that glitch, which means that this is only PS4. All right, sorry Xbox, but you will not be able to do this. The beginning part getting glitched out uses a recent activity. And uh, yeah, that's the only way to actually get glitched out to be able to do this. So. Like I said, PS4 only, you need your own MOC and AA uh, trailer, same bunker as your friend to be able to merge. You need a car in your MOC, which is my RHA right here, and you need caddies in your uh, bunkers as well. Okay, so what we're doing right now is I'm getting the AA trailer and MOC from Lost, okay? He's actually giving them to me, he's duping them for me. So this car was in my MOC, I picked him up, I'm driving, and we're driving inside of my bunker. All right, that's what we're doing right now. So we're going inside my bunker. Main perspective is me, the receiver. Uh, the top right will be the perspective of Lost, who is actually giving me. All right, so you see these uh, these trailers and MOCs right here? All that, I will get his dupes in these places, okay? So here we go. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and park up up against this wall right here to get the right D-pad option. I'm going to hit right D-pad and about a second later double tap and start GTA Online and hit a recent, okay? Now I'm just going to go ahead and sit on this recent. What Loss is doing in the top right, he actually, right when he hit a black screen, he went to go look for a recent. He's probably sitting on this for like 10 or 15 seconds and then right when he gets his recent up, he's going to go ahead and just start GTA Online and decline the alert. And look what happens. He gets kicked out and he's actually in a default bunker. Okay. Now that he's kicked out and he's going to spawn over at the default bunker. Remember, I'm still sitting on this alert. He's going to let me know once he's over there and he spawns at the default bunker. He will just, you know, start walking outside as if he was just in there. Okay. So we're just waiting for that to happen. There he goes. He's outside. He's going to go ahead and let me know. And then I can go ahead and decline the alert. And it's just going to take me right into the MOC like normal. That is all you have to do to get your friend glitched out. Okay. So what he needs to do now is he needs to make his way back over to the bunker, all right, where I am. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and just exit the uh, the trailer. I can exit the facility. I'm good to go. Okay, that is the only like real timing part that you really need to get a hold of. And if you've been doing the gift cards to friends on PlayStation, you know it can be tricky sometimes, but that timing is pretty good, okay? Remember, your friend wants to be on that black screen for like 10, 15 seconds. What he did was just go ahead and, you know, start, right when he got the black screen, he went to go look for a recent, and that took about 10 to 15 seconds, so it worked out perfect, all right? So now that he actually got back on his oppressor, he's gonna go ahead and run into his bunker, okay? That's what he's doing. I'm outside, he's running into his bunker. Once he's in there, he's gonna go ahead and shoot me an invite. Now remember, we glitched him out, okay? He's the one that's glitched out, and you're gonna see what happens right here. It's really confusing if you've never done this before, you don't really know about bunker merges, but this is what's gonna happen. It's crazy how this works. So he's gonna go ahead and send me an invite. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and accept that invite and I should be spawning in. Now remember, him as the helper, he needs to go ahead and have a caddies, okay? That's very important. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and get on the driver's seat of the caddy. And then once I'm in the driver's seat, he's gonna sit down in the passenger seat all right, and he should actually hit a black screen right when he gets on there. Look at that, black screen and he turns invisible to me. He's gonna count to about three seconds, double tap the PS button, start GTA Online on a recent and decline it. Then he's gonna go ahead and just hop off. Once he hops off, I can hop off. And you see we're actually invisible to each other. We can't see each other whatsoever, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is go ahead and just exit the bunker. He's gonna stay in his bunker, all right? He needs to stay in there. Now you see in the top right, those are his, that's his AA trailer and his MOC, all right? So I just walked out of his bunker, but look what happens when I walk back in, okay? So technically I should be walking back into my bunker. You know, you would think I walked out of his, I turned around, I went back into mine, but look what happens when I go into my own bunker. Check this out. This is where the magic happens right here. These bunkers are 100% merged now, okay? So look what I see. I see all of his stuff, all right? I'm in my bunker, yet I see his AA trailer and his MOC, okay? His exact, exact vehicles are actually in my bunker. So now that they're merged, what I need to do is get them to stick. 
So I gotta go ahead and go to the mechanic right here, hit right D-pad, and you wanna modify something on the MOC. I don't recommend touching the plate because, you know, we're trying to keep Yanktons and stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and modify the armor. Nice and easy, okay? So I'm gonna modify the armor, then I'm gonna go ahead, and if you want an anti-aircraft trailer, just click on the anti-aircraft trailer and it's gonna glitch and actually take you off, just like that. You see that I clicked on modify anti-aircraft trailer and it just took me off the mechanics list. That is literally all you gotta do to actually get the MOC and AA trailer from a friend. Now remember, I had my own previous to this, so I'm duping over mine, okay? I'm getting his stuff, but they're actually replacing over mine, so I'm losing my stuff. So now I can simply just walk out. Uh, your friend can actually stay glitched out there the entire time, all right? And actually keep giving MOCs and AA trailers to people. He is glitched out in this session. He can walk out and in, he's still glitched. So now that I'm outside, I'm gonna go ahead and just go over to my vehicles and request the anti-aircraft trailer. Now. Once once I request the anti-aircraft anti trailer, look around because it will not show up on the map. It doesn't have a tracker on it. Yet, here it is. I called it out. This is it. It has no tracker. If you look at the mini-map, there's no way of telling if it is mine or not. And it, it's funny, even if you hop onto it, it actually kicks you right off. You see that? And if I were to try to hop on again, it would say I don't have access to the vehicle. But trust me, that is mine. All you gotta do from here, if you wanna force a game save, go ahead. You know, it doesn't hurt to force a game save, but really all you have to do is find new session, okay? So just request it once, it'll have no tracker, and just hit find new session. Now I should be spawning into a public session here real soon. I'm in the public session. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and go into my bunker and check if it's all there, and check it out. Look at that. I have his AA trailer, and the Benny's rims, and the color, the 3D paint, everything is right there on my MOC, okay? So we have successfully, you know, duped over his stuff over into my bunker. New session right here, it's still there. If you want to make an extra modification to make sure it saves, you can do that. You can drive it out and in, it's up to you, but you really don't have to do much. It's pretty much saved right here, all right? So that's how you do this, man, nice and easy, okay? It's not a difficult glitch whatsoever, all right? And I had two screens so you can see both perspectives so you wouldn't get confused, all right? So shout out to all the founders, man. Links down in the description. My name is Roll Easy. Make sure you subscribe to the channel by pressing that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out, everybody, and have a great day.